Hi guys, welcome to my channel and for today's video I would like to share how to enable the camera 2 API for Redmi Note 5 without rooting the device. So without further ado, let's get started. Drop it. Now, what we needed are of course the USB cable for the device and then uh, your uh, your phone needs to be unlocked for the boot loader all right if your phone is not unlocked yet these steps or this tutorial will not gonna work for you okay so you need to go uh, unlock first your phone once you're done go back for this tutorial all right so what is for I mean what is camera to app for once your camera to API is enabled, you can now use Gcam. Right? Gcam is a great application that will uh, enable you to enhance the skills or the, uh, um, the hardware of your device to use everything. It will uh, produce a great photos, great videos. So everyone wants to enable the in, um, camera to API for them to use the Gcam. So yeah, I'm sorry for my poor English. This is not just for own for Filipinos, but of course, also for everyone who has Redmi Note 5 that wants to enable the camera to API without uh, rooting their device. All right. So um, the tools needed, well, I will go ahead and upload it and put the link on the description for you to guys to download it. All right. Now um, on my computer, of course, I'm recording it as well. So those are the device that uh, we needed and uh, here's the website that I followed so I will place this as well on the description now we need this device or I mean we need these tools for us to enable the camera to API so first we need to install the um, uh, drivers your phone needs to be connected now to your um, I mean to your phone and uh, you, the USB needs to connect to your uh, computer now so it's now connected and um, the USB debugging needs to be enabled and you have to choose file transfer once you're done downloading the um, the tools you need to transfer this um, HAL3 this one um, yes this one HAL3 to the um, SD card or your external uh, memory here right I believe this is gonna be the recovery image so yeah you have to transfer it there we needed that early, um, later on now go back here all right um, you need to do this first all right uh, install the drivers by the way, my, my computer is Windows 7, so I don't know yet if this one will work with Windows 10 or whatnot. But um, try it on the Windows 7 first since I try it and it works. So, yeah, do you want to install ADV and Fastboot? Press Y and then Enter. Then Y again, install ADV system wide. And so it's now installing. Okay, so they want to install device driver. Just press yes. So press next and then finish. So it's all done. It will automatically closed. Now go back to this tutorial. That's the first step. I already uh, memorized it, so I skipped that one. So yeah, we're done that enabling the all um, USB debugging. Now um, let's do it. This one. Step eleven. All right. So we need to open this platform tools right and then press shift on your computer then right click open this open command window here and it will show you here this little pop-up now once you're you're done open uh, you open that one hold on let me close this all right so you have to follow the, um, the prompts oops there's some ads all right here you need to follow these commands so um, ADB is ADB space devices 
then hit enter for you to check if your device is connected or can uh, I mean detect by your computer so as you can see now uh, my device uh, or my computer can detect my uh, cell phone my Redmi Note 5 so let's proceed for the next um, command which is ADB reboot bootloader so when ADB space reboot bootloader I'm oh, sorry okay so once I enter this one I believe my cell phone or my Redmi Note 5 will reboot to fast boot so press enter see my phone turned off and then um, it will boot to fast loader or fast boot there all right and this one appears that um, my the driver for my phone is um, installing now let's uh, proceed to the next command which is fast boot space devices and then press enter so that we can know uh, we can know if the computer can still recognize the device when um, the device is uh, at the fast boot um, mode so as you can see um, it's still there you can still detect it all right so let's go to the next step great okay so next step is a fast boot flash anti anti rd pass dummy that image so here it is dummy that image okay so we need to um, uh, flash this one as a command all right so let's go back to that okay fast boot space flash space anti rb pass i'm sorry i'm too slow dummy dot img so, and then press enter all right so we're done uh, flashing that one so let's do the next one which is fast boot recovery that image so i believe the recovery image is this one. Oh no this one we need to flash this okay so okay so that's the red wolf here as you can see here yeah all right so and, and like this fast boot space boot space recovery dot img then press enter oops oh okay because um I, the file name is recovery.img so let me just change it here again recovery.img dot img again all right so see it's now downloading okay so it's done flashing now let's go to the next step all right so uh this is here oh okay as you can see my phone changed to red wolf now it's flashed to the uh, red wolf recovery okay so let's wait until it's load all right so there okay so let's go to the phone all right um let's just push uh the back button to cancel it all right there now once you are on the recovery um, mode like this for the red wolf you just have to press install all right now you have to look for the hl3 that you placed earlier select oops i'm sorry for my the image of my phone <coughs> it's not focusing hold on okay so there well, let's go back maybe you didn't see it hold on okay so once you're here okay so you just have to press install okay and then just wait for my camera to focus one moment 
I'm so sorry, I'm using an old Galaxy S2 phone. <laughs> I don't have spare phone to use. I'm really sorry. Ah, the focus of this phone is really bad. Well then, um, this one, you need to press this one and it says select storage. And then you have to use a micro SD because you place it on the micro SD, the HAL3 earlier, right? And then you have to just press it. Uh, look for it here. The HL3 enable MIUI Pi Z. Okay. And then once you select that one, you have to swipe this, drag it all the way here. Swipe it to install. And it's now installing. So as you can see, alright, it's installing now and it says done. So we're done now. Just press reboot system. I'm sorry for my <laughs> poor English, okay? Please bear with me. This is not just for the Filipino. So I'm trying hard, of course. Um, I admit it. I'm trying hard to speak in English. But uh, just to, of course, support everyone as well that wants to enable their camera to API without putting their Redmi Note 5. Alright? But of course, like what I said earlier, you have to uh, unlock the bootloader, okay? You have to unlock the bootloader first for you to um, enable the camera to API. Alright, so my phone uh, boots up. Right, I just need to turn it on now. Get me one moment here. My phone turned off. Alright, there. Let me just open it. Hold on. Alright. So my phone boot up now. Okay. You have to download this one. Manual Camera Compatibility Test. I believe it's available on uh, Google Play Store. If you cannot see it on the Google Play Store, uh, just download it uh, over the net, which is on the Google everywhere. You can see it. So just press start to see if enable now. See? Everything works. So manual focus, manual white balance, manual ISO, manual shutter speed, raw support. Everything works. Alright? So guys, that's it. Um, thank you so much for uh, watching this video. I hope um, I help everyone who wants to enable their um, camera to API uh, without rooting their phone or risking their phone to uh, root, <laughs> root the device. All right. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and um, see you on my next vlog. Peace out.